This review of the Amazon Fire Cube is split into three parts. Primarily, we'll talk about um, the cube itself and what it comes with. Then we'll talk about the installation and how it works with other devices. And then some of the uses of the cube itself and, um, and how you interact with Alexa. So let's get started on that. So there's the cube. I'm going to go through uh, all the connections on it uh, in one minute. This is what it's replacing. So this is the um, this is the Fire Stick, which was great. I think this is the first generation. This one, because I didn't have the volume on the remote control with this. Uh, the I used to have, but I left the third generation one in a hotel in Abu Dhabi. Anyway, so that's gone. You get the cube with it. And on the cube, on the top, you've got your action button, your volume up and down button, and um, and that one turns Alexa off, or turns the voice control off. You've got eight mics running along the top, four on either side of the volume buttons there. And you've got your light bar along there to show you when Alexa's actually operating. And if we have a look on the back, you've got micro USB connection, You've got an infrared input connection. You've got your power input there and your HDMI input there. Now then, the USB, you can use the USB input if you want to use the, uh, the Ethernet cable there. And that basically plugs into the back of the cube and then your Ethernet cable goes in there. This is your IR cable, um, quite a, a length of cable. And again, that just pops into there and that goes into the line of sight for any of the devices that you want controlling. And obviously you've got your remote control. Couldn't really have been any simpler. Uh, you've got your power cable there, uh, the jack plug on the right hand side that obviously just plugs into a wall socket. And then the other connector there is the HDMI that goes into the back of the TV there. So the cube itself is positioned next to the TV. Uh, I'm going to play around with that just to see uh, where the best place is because you do get the infrared extender if I need it. So it connected automatically and then obviously downloaded the latest software. Something that's made the setup an awful lot easier is the fact that um, it knows that this network has a, a, an Amazon account already on it. So it's already basically set everything up then. I just need to continue through rather than messing around with the Wi-Fi settings and my account settings. So everything's up to date now and basically you can choose apps or not choose apps. So let's choose apps. Right, I want YouTube. We'll go for that. What else have we got? Uh, don't want any of the news is because they're all biased. Go down, don't want any of those. Mm, don't want any of those. I do want, however, um, Netflix. So I'll have to play around with that one. And I'll go for the uh, BBC player as well. Just press play to continue and finish. Right, now I do want Alexa to control my devices. Right, so having read the instructions, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the cube forward slightly. Uh, there's the Sky Cube mini box. Uh, there's obviously the TV. There's nothing else that it needs to interact with. So we'll just see how that works. And if you do have an issue where the um, where the cube isn't in line of sight of the other devices like your Skybox or, or anything else, then this is um, an IR extender or an infrared extender. And basically you just make sure that that's plugged into the back of the cube and that this, this end is in line of sight of the other devices and that cures that problem. Right, we'll leave that. Just go forward. So this is just like the uh, the fire stick that it's replaced. 
but let's just go along to settings and see what, what we can play with there. Go to equipment control. Add equipment, satellite. Okay, so it's found it and it's sky and it's sky Q. So all that's really straightforward and again it's an automated process. Using your remotes, switch to your satellite receiver. When a channel appears, press fast forward on your Fire TV remote. Right, so Switch to the satellite TV receiver. When the channel appears, press fast forward. Right, Using okay. your remotes, switch to your satellite receiver. So when the channel there. appears, press fast oh. forward on your Fire TV. Re Fire TV people now learn how to control your satellite receiver. Watch your TV screen for any changes to the current channel. Testing channel up. That's good. So it's found all that. If channel up worked, press fast forward on your Fire TV. Please use your original remotes to switch back to Fire TV Cube. Right, okay then. So I'm really impressed with that because as I said the Sky Q is here and we've got the cube here. So it's not exactly like they have to be pointing at each other, which is really good. And you can see how easy the setup was there as well after going into settings. Right, so back to uh, the Sky Cube, which is on the HDMI. Cube. Right, so it's all set up and next select the input you use with the satellite receiver. So that's HDMI 1. You will now switch your satellite receiver. Make sure it's powered on and click next when you're ready. Okay, so everything's sorted there. Next. If you're seeing satellite on your TV, Press fast forward on your Fire TV remote. So it's done that again automatically. Press fast forward. Now I am trying yes. to switch back to Fire TV Cube. And it's switched back automatically. Press fast forward on your Fire... Right, that's fantastic. So, right, okay, so we can try all that later. Going to done. Right, there's no other uh, equipment that I actually want to add uh, Just have a quick look in there. Yeah, that's all done. Come back out of there. Down to advanced set of satellite. We're all done there, aren't we? No inputs. No, everything's fine. Adjust the power on off settings. Nope, everything's okay. So lots to play with here in the future. Um, let's just go into advanced settings. So volume and power buttons. Yeah. You can see I can control so the TV volume there. I'll just come around this side. So the TV volume, I can use the buttons on here and it actually increases and decreases the volume. So I don't actually need to use the uh, the Samsung remote. Right, let's come out of there. Let's just go back and see what we can do. Lots of things to play with, but I don't want to play with anything. I just want to start using it. Let's just go to Netflix. Right, so I've already got Netflix on other devices, on other Amazon devices. So all I need to do is download that. You can see it downloading and that will just save. 
and I've got other apps on there as well, like the ITV uh, player app and the Channel 4 player app. So I'll probably install those at a later date also. Right, let's open it and see. And there's Netflix, and we should be able to continue watching. So, right, so I just need to sign in with all my details and everything, which I'll do at a later date. But that's that's fantastic. So I've actually got Netflix through Sky as well, so it all comes in useful. Plus, I'm an Amazon Prime member, so there's lots to watch on Amazon Prime. Uh, yeah, so I'll get ITV Hub on, uh, My5, so on and so forth. And I'll put Amazon Photos on as well because I've got some bits and pieces in the cloud to watch on that. So from a standing start, we can say something along the lines of, Alexa, let me watch Bosch on Amazon Prime. Getting Bosch from Prime Video. So it turns the TV on. Switches to Amazon Prime. We're losing him. What do you and this was obviously the last place I was up to, season 10. Sorry, season 6, episode 10. Alexa, turn the TV off. Okay. And we can do the same thing for Netflix. So, Alexa, let me watch Better Call Saul on Netflix. I can play that on Prime Video, Netflix, or find it on Fire TV. Which would you like? Netflix. Here's what I found. Now, when this turns the TV on, um, it's password protected. Not actually done it. Let's just, uh, Alexa, play Better Call Saul on Netflix. Getting Net Better Call Saul from Netflix. Yeah, so there you go. It understood me that time. And uh, I just need to put the um, put the pin in because it's password protected because of the swearing and things that are on there. <laughs> Alexa, the switch to Sky One. Tuning to Sky One on cable. So you can flick between uh, the channels on Sky and get the Cube to operate it, which is absolutely fantastic, which is the whole reason that I got it. I could have got the cheaper uh, Fire Stick, but that's what I wanted because I wanted it to uh, organise through audio all the different appliances that I've got. Alexa, reduce the volume. Now what you'll see it doing there is when I ask it to reduce the volume, it'll reduce it in step in stages. So I want it to reduce it in stages of five. So I'll, I'll show you again. And when I, when it picks up the fact that I'm talking to it, it mutes the TV. You'll see that as well. Alexa, reduce the volume. So it's muted the TV and now turns the volume down by uh, increments of five. Okay, so over in the corner there, in the top right hand corner, you can see a, a Sonos uh, 3 speaker. Alexa, play House of Pain, Jump Around in the Bedroom. Jump Around by House of Pain from Spotify, playing on Bedroom. Right, I've stopped it quickly there so that you can actually hear the music rather than being picked up on a copyright infringement. But very, very easy to do. And obviously, the more devices that you've got linked up to the uh, AI Alexa, the more that you can do. So we've got quite a few in the house now. So we can call room to room. We can uh, notify when something's going on or to come somewhere. So absolutely um, fantastic. The more you use it, the more you can use it. Here's another one. Alexa, show me my photos. 
and it starts it. And then you can just start the slideshow. Start slideshow. Okay. Alexa, next picture. Alexa, next picture. Alexa, next picture. So this is absolutely fantastic just to have your holiday snaps in the background. Alexa, next picture. So that's the real basics of the cube, the contents of the box, the setup, and then the, the basic use of it. Lots and lots to do with Alexa. The more you use it, the more you get out of it. I'm really impressed with this. So it's definitely a recommendation from me anyway, and uh, I'm enjoying playing with it.